Hi! Okay, I don't know where to look. Long time no set in front of the camera and just talk to myself, I guess. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be awkward first, but let's just get into it. So, if you read the title, you will be able to see that today I am going to talk about being an INTP and um, my function stack. I'm gonna try to focus on each of the functions and then just describing them, like how I think I use them from my perspective. But a huge disclaimer, I'm not 100% sure that I am an INTP. I am fairly certain now, after sort of a year um, of research, but yeah, I mean, this seems like the most likely option. So I'm just gonna talk about how I think I use my functions. Like I said, disclaimer, I may not be an INTP, so do take this with a grain of salt. The functions that I think I'm describing may not be the functions that I'm actually describing. And now let's describe what I think is TI. I basically just love analyzing everything. I this was always hard for me to tell whether it's FI or TI, because they're very similar in some ways. Um, but I think TI is still a little bit more analytical. And the way I see it is I try to analyze certain events in my life and just, yeah, whatever happens to me, I try to make sense of it so that it makes sense to me. So in a subjective way, looking for a subjective logic yeah and if i just try to give a practical example uh yeah crushes <laughs> uh whenever i start liking somebody i won't know straight away that i'm liking them i'll sort of be like oh what is this feeling that i'm experiencing right now what is this liking a person do i want to be their friend do i want to like why am I drawn to this person? I need to understand the why. It's not so much about experiencing the emotion. It's more about searching for the reasons and patterns why I like certain people. Which again, sounds FI now that I'm describing it because it's subjective analysis of feelings. But I mean, don't we all try to understand why we like somebody to a certain extent. Yeah, like I said, the focus is more on the whys and the patterns, uh, the qualities, more like the analysis of qualities that I like and not so much on the feeling aspect. Okay, so if I continue with TI, uh, I also would ascribe um, overthinking to that function because I do that a lot. Oftentimes, I'll think about a situation after it's happened and I'll just go back and be like, oh, I should have done this, I should have um, gone with that, or something similar. Another thing um, that I think is TI, could be TI related, is, uh, and this is also connected to NE, extroverted intuition. Uh, I have a lot of interests, a lot of artistic, um, yeah, Hobbies, basically, I draw, I paint, I, I'm i self-taught at guitar playing. And yeah, speaking of music in particular, I learned basically everything on my own. Um, I never took any lessons or anything, so like my knowledge is fairly average, but that's not the point. My point here is that I like the theory behind it. It's not just, you know, being able to play a certain note, a certain chord. It's more about what really drew my attention was how chords are connected and you know how you transpose them, how everything is such a nice system. And it's sort of ironic that people often uh, connect music just with feeling and yeah, sort of inspiration in the moment, expressing your inner self, which is true, you know, you do that through lyrics, obviously, and through like emotion, you show them in a different way, but with the basses, you need that too, you can't, you can't do anything without that. 
I really like musical theory, for example, even though I never studied it properly, but what I've learned on my own, um, it's interesting how there's a pattern, how there's a system, how it's all connected and how it all works together. And there is nothing, nothing is co coincidental. Okay, I don't know if this is T-I, it might be T-I-S-I. Um, I am selectively detail-oriented. I'm not a very meticulous person, somebody who would keep their things in order or who would like be bothered by clutter um, or like chaos in a physical sense. But if something holds value to me, if I think it's important, then I can be very nitpicky and meticulous about that. But I don't know, like, if the, this could be true for everyone to an extent. I don't know if this is really MBTI or function related, but potentially. Um, and yeah, generally in my decision making, my head overrules the heart, even though I try to think that's not the case, but it kind of is. Yeah. If I like something and I'm thinking of buying it, I would never just buy it because I like it, even if I have the means, even if I can afford it. But you know, if there's no reason, like, do I need it? Do I... I need to have a reason to do things, even if it's my own personal reason, which would make sense, you know, TI, I guess. Moving on to extroverted intuition, so NE. Um, I see NE as the driving force behind my creativity. Like I mentioned before, I have a lot of different interests, but I never really am able to go in depth when it comes to things. Simply because there's too many, and I'm just like, oh, I want to do this, I want to try this, I want to, yeah, <laughs> I want to do everything. But I lag the proficiency um, to like really do something properly, if that makes sense. Even when I taught myself how to play the guitar, you know, I know the basics, but I, I don't have the patience to try and, oh my gosh, the sun. Um, yeah, but I don't really have the patience to sit long hours and practice and practice and practice and just focus on that one thing on music, for example. It's always more about, oh, can I do this? Yes, I can. Thank you. Next. I also, I can get excited about something really quickly and then just kind of be like, when it's all new, it's, yeah, it's exciting and it's fun. But then when you start working on it, it just kind of doesn't go anywhere or goes very slowly. And there's something more tempting that you want to try and you're like, Mm, maybe if I just put this first thing, you know, aside and focus on this. But yeah, it's very difficult for me to focus on one subject. Also, what I think could be related to any is that my mind, like the way I see it, not necessarily everybody does, but the way I see it is it often works faster than I'm able to articulate what I'm trying to say. Because my mind's already processed something. And I'm still at the beginning of describing this thing when it's already done and I'm already having the next thought. SI. I think this is the function that helps me be more organized. Like just as I was describing my any before, how my mind works really fast and ideas just come and go sometimes. Um, I don't know if this is SI related, but I often find myself writing things down just making lists, not necessarily with any goal in mind to finishing everything, but just like putting my thoughts on paper so that I don't forget them, so that I can remember, oh yeah, I wrote that down, I was gonna do that. Whether I do it or not is not really relevant. In this case, it's just more about, okay, this is one idea, this is one option. Let's not forget it. If it's written down, we won't. If we don't write it, it's gonna go. So yeah, I see SI as sort of a stabilizer function. It gives me a sense of order, sort of like a peace of mind. Um, and getting into a routine really isn't that much of a problem for me. But sooner or later, you know, after a week of doing similar things day after day, 
the routine is just gonna start killing me on the inside. It's just, it turns you into a passionless robot. I don't feel like myself at that time. It's, it gives me safety, but it also takes away the imagination. I guess, you know, the way I see it is the stronger the SI, the weaker the NE. Because they're, you know, they work together in that sense that they're both perceiving functions. So yeah, the love-hate relationship with routine, I suppose. So the way I see FE, if I have it again, if, I am not very good with expressing emotions. I never was, even as a child. Um, I, I asked my mom about this and she actually said that the way she saw me as a child was just this very distant, serious little person who just observes everybody, like other kids, and she said she thought that I looked like I was thinking about what they're doing or why they are doing what they're doing, uh, sort of like analyzing them, and I don't really remember if that was the case, but I think it just sounds interesting because I remember observing, being like the observer, the quiet observer, I do remember that, observing and thinking. This was kind of my thing throughout. Uh, expressing emotions does not come easy. Um, I sometimes find myself feeling things and not being able to label them. Um, like not being able to recognize them properly. This weird thing happens sometimes when like whatever it is that I'm feeling just kind of mushes into this one thing. It, it's love and sadness and anger and whatever and it all just mushes together into this one big ball of emotions and it's all tangled up and I don't know what I'm feeling I'm just like overwhelmed and I'm like just oh, get it off get it off I don't know what this is just so it's hard for me to connect to people really hard I don't even know how to like start conversations like of regular small talk I I don't know how to, to do that, or I might, you know, you learn certain things what you're supposed to ask people when you meet them or whatever, you learn that but then you don't know how to continue, um, so yeah, communication and that just, it, it's a chore. <laughs> also like group work is not, I, I prefer to do things individually. Also what I wanted to say is, even though I connect with people with some difficulty, it's not that I actually really want to, like, I don't have a strong desire for a deeper relationship, like, with somebody, like, strong friendship, like, to have one really good friend. I mean, obviously, it's easier to have one or a few good friends um, than keeping up with a group of people. And also what I think could be, this might also be related to TI or not necessarily to FE, but even though I consider myself to be an artist, art is never really about expressing emotions for me. I mean, probably they do seep through because art is still art. It still has emotions are bound to come through somehow in some shape or form. But for me, it's always more about trying and mastering at least the basic level of a certain skill. It's like, can I capture this photo? Can I make it look authentic? Can I recreate this portrait? Yeah, it's more about skill and trying, testing your limits, abilities, I guess. And I remember like, I used to write poetry. I don't know, like just the emotional aspect or especially emotional delivery, like reading something or projecting emotion through your voice is has always been a challenge for me and I, I I correlate that to TI or low FE I suppose. Okay, so this was basically it. I'll probably remember a bunch of things that I could have mentioned later on. I hope you liked it and I don't know, comment down below if you're an INTP or whatever type you are, if you uh, relate to any of these descriptions or if you use another function and relate to my descriptions of whatever function I described, 
I guess I'll see you whenever I have time and ideas for another video. So yeah, bye.